Rockport Music is dedicated to fostering an appreciation of music through accessible programs for people of all ages. We would like to thank our corporate partners for their continued support in making this happen. Thank you. 
So the next piece I will be playing is a piece I wrote dedicated to my first double bass teacher who was from Marietta, Georgia, and he was part of the uh, Atlanta Symphony Orchestra. Uh, I used to take lessons with him when I used to live down in Marietta, Georgia, but uh, in year 2014, unfortunately, Mr. Doug Summers passed away. So this song called Etude Number 3, Lament, is dedicated to his awesome teaching and just being a great human being. So hope you enjoy. <laughs> So the next piece I'll be playing is called A2 number 10, The Dance. And I wrote this one because I wanted to write a piece for bass that allowed the listeners to dance. You see, this is a study, A2 means study, so I thought maybe this could be a really neat way to study the art of making people dance while playing the bass, so I hope it works. Enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. 
So the next piece I'll be playing is a piece called Irish Fantasy. So I decided to write uh, this piece because a long time ago, when I was in 11th grade, 10 years old, I heard this soundtrack while playing a video game called Fate for the PC. And little did I know, it was actually a folk song from Ireland. And it kind of goes like this. <laughs> And so um, when I was in college, I decided to write a piece that was based off of this folk song, but added a lot of music to it. Uh, the original folk song is called The Clergyman's Lamentation, the thing I just played for you. And I turned this into something called Irish Fantasy. Now, funny enough, this, uh, this performance is uh, a little bit before St. Patrick's Day, so it's pretty cool. So I guess I'll uh, get started.
So this next piece is a uh, double bass sonata with a uh, bass and piano. Uh, joining me now is Kelly Lynn. And uh, this piece called Always on the Move features a whole bunch of influences. Uh, you know, the main reason why, uh, uh, why I wrote this and why I went about, the way I went about writing it was because there was a, there's kind of a lack of jazz and classical fusion. And this is the kind of thing that I think uh, I'm personally looking for because, you know, some people like jazz and classical, so this kind of has the best of both worlds. So, uh, enjoy.
Thank you.